Hi booktube and welcome to my 7 deadly sins video. This is a book tag. Um, I'm going to go through all the sins. So I hope you enjoy the video and come along. My the first sin is greed and that is what is my most expensive book and what is my least expensive book so I will let you know. So my most expensive book was The First Confessor by Terry Kind. Um, I don't actually spend too much money on books most of the time. This is my most expensive one at £20 and that is because it was newly out at the time in hardback edition. The first time I read this it was on my Kindle and I was just so happy to actually have this beautiful thing in proper book form because I really love my books. Um, so yes, that was my most expensive book so far. And my least expensive book was A Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. I love this book so much, I really want to read it again soon. Um, but yeah, this is my least expensive book because it only cost me like a penny on eBay plus postage and packaging. So <laughs> I was really happy with this. I don't think I've ever had a free book unless it's been gifted to me. So I won't count that. This is a book that I bought, least expensive. And, oh my god, I do love Good Omens, it's just so funny. Something you can sit and read for a laugh, something that doesn't take long because it's so small. And, yeah, it's, it's a really good book. The next sin I want to tell you about is Wrath. And that is, what author do you have a love-hate relationship with? Now, that author for me is Homer. The writer of these two lovely books, The Odyssey and The Iliad. Now I have studied these books at university and I have been studying these for the past five years I think because I studied them at college too. But uh, I'm just going to go with the story for now. I really have a love-hate relationship for Homer because he was such a good writer and his characters and the story, they are amazing but I just can't stand the characters and the way he writes them. That's what I hate so much about his work. I love them because these are texts I've studied for so long and that have been so close to my heart. But I only think a few of the characters are likeable, like in the Iliad, this one. Um, I could only like people like Andromache and Hector and I think Achilles was horrible and everybody else was horrible, the heroes that you're supposed to like I think, you just don't. And this one, the Odyssey, I cannot stand Odysseus. His son's okay but he still annoys me. The only person I like in this is Penelope because she's really clever and does everything against the suitors that want to marry her and just she wants her husband back, but he's horrible, he cheats on her twice while he's away, so... I know this is about the ancient Greek world, but... I just can't like Odysseus or Achilles or anybody like that, they just annoy me. So, love-hate relationship right there. The next one I'm mentioning is Gluttony, and that is... What book do you have a delicious... have you deliciously devoured? over and over and over and over and over again and that for me is this wonderful book by Mr. Terry Goodkind again, Faith of the Fallen. This is my favourite book of all time. It is huge but I don't care. This is one book that I could just read and read and read and it's also a series that the sort of truth for it series I could just read over and over and I will never ever ever get bored of it. It's good. This is the book that Terry Goodkind wrote from his heart and all of it, a lot of his beliefs are in this one book and um, like The Sword of Truth is a huge huge fantasy series so if you, no you can't you won't be able to see, see it but I have a bookshelf dedicated to The Sword of Truth series um, and I will just keep reading this over for the rest of my life because this one is my favourite and if you are a Sword of Truth lover, you, I think you will understand why Faith of the Fallen is my favourite one of all time. So, yes, that is my, that is my gluttony. 
The next thing I will talk about is sloth, and that is what book have you rejected to read due to laziness? And oh god, guys, I am so sorry about this, but this has to be one of two books. It really has to be one of two books, and that is. I'm so sorry. A Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin. How far into this am I? <laughs> I am on page 342. And this is a big book. And I've just been so lazy with it. I've been reading it for months. And <sighs> the chapters are really long. And it's a really big book. And I know it's not as big as some of the Sword of Truth books. But... I just keep putting it down and not coming back to it for ages at a time and I don't know if it's because I'm just being lazy and watching the series or if I'm just scared of big books lately because I've been reading all the medium sized dystopian novels and I'm just getting so used to their size and just skimming through them and just reading them that I don't know university has made my reading worse than it used to be and it's not fair and I'm so sorry I love I love Game of Thrones ah. um, the other book I have been lazy about is Time Traveler's Wife I've seen the movie I loved it and I still really want to read the book and this is by Audrey Nifan I don't read that just just read that instead don't listen to me pronouncing Clothes Steve's because I just can't but um I've neglected this one, I've had it on my shelf for like years and I just, I can't even remember buying it, it's just been there forever but I, I will read it one day but I'm just lazy so I'll get there I've had a really speed up with this video next one is Pride what book do you most talk about in order to make yourself sound intelligent basically make me sound intelligent because these are what I wrote my dissertation on guys and that is Dante's Inferno and Virgil's Aeneid and I could talk to people about this all day because I wrote my 10,000 word dissertation on it so yay me intelligent guys just remember that I have a BA in classics and ancient history and I wrote about them and how the underworlds compare to one another and how the Christian hell in Dante's Inferno is much like the pagan underworld in Virgil's Nerd. It took me a whole year to write that dissertation and I got a 2 on! I'm so happy! But <laughs> it took me such a long time to write and I'm so glad it's over to be honest. Anyway, the next sin I will talk about is Lust. And that is, what attributes do you find most attractive in characters? For me, that would be kind of the loyalty because I care more about emotions and how people are rather than how I think they look in the book. So I I like a character who's loyal to, who's loyal to their friends and people who are close and that who you can trust throughout the book and they're protective over a character or. They're really honest. There's, they're the kind of attributes I really like in a character. So there you go. And the last sin I'm going to talk about is Envy. And what books would you most like to receive as a gift? For me, right now, it's either fantasy or dystopian. They are the two novels I'm most into right now. So family and friends. Just, just try and see the books that I already have and what I already hold and. Don't get me those ones unless like you have a different edition or a really special edition. I don't I don't know, but yeah. I like dystopian and fantasy, so thank you very much for watching my video. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, comment below if you've read any of these books, if you like any of these books, even if you want to suggest any books to me, that's fine, I will talk to you. Alright, thank you for watching BookTube and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!